Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Style with Carol. So today we are going to efficiently and effectively organize our fridge. So some of you have seen my Organize With Me pantry video um, and I've received a lot of positive feedback. So now I thought, why don't we do a fridge organization video because that is something that we use on an everyday basis and something that has been personally giving me heartburn. <laughs> and Every time I looked at that fridge before it was organized, it would give me a sense of anxiety, especially when someone else is coming over to your home and going to your fridge. I don't like it. So here are some steps and tricks to efficiently organize your fridge. Um, I'm going to go over some crucial preparation steps before lessons learned that will help you in organizing your fridge. And then we're gonna go over some budget-friendly tips, um, some cool gadgets that I've purchased, as well as some methods on how to actually preserve food longer. I mean, we go to the grocery store, we get all these items, and the next thing you know, it's only after a few days, a lot of them get rotten. Let's try to avoid that. I'm gonna show you some methods you can use when organizing, not only to store your food so that food can last longer, but also easy ways to implement a long-term solution to help keep your fridge organized. So without further ado, let's get started. Here is my fridge. I have a Samson hub and this fridge is super cool. However, we're gonna go inside and prepare yourself because um, it doesn't look the best as of now. So this is how it used to look. Um, fortunately, my fridge has like a view inside option without opening it, but of course I will show you all how it looks inside because it doesn't give you the best visual um, of how the fridge looks. So let's take a dive in this not at all organized chaos because literally everything is just like pushed and God only knows all the expired items that I have stored in this fridge. It is just, I'm sorry. I Look, I'm sure you all have had these nasty leftovers in your fridge that we don't judge, right? That it's just, you forget about it. You say you're going to clean it and it's still in your fridge. So we're going to get rid of all those today. As mentioned, this is a no judgment zone, okay? Now, before you jump in and try to organize your fridge, you need to watch the rest of the video because don't be like me. I just first started trying to put, take out items, but like I've mentioned, we're trying to efficiently do this job so it does not take you as long as it took me. Make sure you have your trash can right near your fridge so it's easy to throw away all those leftovers that you discover in your lovely fridge. Now, if you're also purchasing new organizational bins for your fridge, you're going to want to make sure you use a tape measurement to actually measure out the depth of your fridge to make sure all the organizational bins that you buy are actually suitable for your fridge. If you're on a hunt for great, inexpensive organizational bins for your fridge, a great place to start out is your local TJ Maxx. You'll have an array of options to choose from. These I've already had in my fridge stored and that's why they look like this. Here's a preview of my local TJ Maxx and all the organizational items that they had in stock. Uh, that's, these are some of the bins that I've actually purchased and you'll see more through the end of the video, the actual ones that I decided to use. Before you take things out, always make sure you have a clean countertop that's nearby your fridge to kind of place everything that you are keeping from your fridge, um, the inside of it and gonna put in later. So wanna make sure you have a clean workspace to work with. Now, when you're going to take things out, I recommend that you store liked items with each other. And I just put sticky notes to kind of 
have every little area a place so I can combine I liked items in their designated area so it's easier to put them back in when organizing. This is why it's so important to have a trash can right nearby. You can just simply toss it so easily. You know the saying, work smarter, not harder. That definitely applies for what we are trying to get accomplished. So I researched efficient ways to store items in your fridge and just getting kind of that knowledge on placement for things that can ultimately help keep and preserve your food items longer. So I learned that you want to be mindful that the when you open the door, the ends of the door, that's where you're going to want to store in items like your condiments and things that don't rot in faster. Um, and going from the inside of your fridge, the middle top is where you want to store items that you're not concerned about in terms of temperature, things that will stay better in, in a warmer temperature because that's the area of your fridge that gets the most heat in terms of temperament. Every time you open those two doors, that's where the heat is escaping the most. So you want to be mindful of that. This is why I recommend starting with the two sides of your fridge before tackling the middle compartment of your fridge because that's going to be generally colder than the sides for sure. And now I'm just laying out how I'm going to tackle the middle. So I'm starting with the top and then going one row at a time. Obviously, sometimes I get sidetracked and then I just start taking things from the other ends. But when you're going to do this, you want to kind of start from the top down. After you clean out your fridge, I promise you that you will have a more peaceful mind every time you're getting something out of the fridge. It's just that feeling of satisfaction that you're going to receive. And you trust me, I felt so accomplished afterwards. I know it's tedious to go in there and really just take a look at everything, analyze what's good, what's not. It's, it's not fun. I will promise you that, but maybe you can make it fun by adding some music um, or having a helping hand. Special shout out to my mother who came to help me clean out all the dishes that were in my sink because oftentimes a lot of the leftovers, you'll have a bunch of leftovers in all these lunch boxes and it adds up to your dish work. So she was very gracious and kind to clean and wash out all those dirty lunch boxes that came out of this lovely fridge. The fridge cleanup took a total of one and a half hours for me to complete. It's going to differ depending on how many items you have in your fridge, how big it is. Um, and exactly what compartments of the fridge you want to clean out. Do you want to just focus on the top and not the bottom? Oh, this chicken broth, y'all, this is great for your food. But going back, you might want to tackle your freezer at a different day <laughs> because it may be too much for you. So when you're going in, as you can see, the lights kind of turned off. What you want to do is just close your refrigerator doors and then open it back up. So sometimes the setting may be different. So you might want to check out your fridge. But for this particular fridge, that's all you have to do to make the door lights um, open up again because they do tend to turn off after it's been a certain time range that your door, refrigerator doors have been left open. Bins such as these are great to store your butter. And I've labeled all of my bins previously, but the new bins I have not. 
Also, if you zoom in, you can see that I actually labeled the inside of my fridge with the label maker I showed you all for my pantry organization video. I will try to link the label maker that I used for this fridge. All I did was order the clear background um, because you can choose between white, clear, but the ink will always be black for this particular label machine. So just keep that in mind. If you have two of the same items and they're not expired, just combine them. I recommend combining it into the item that has the shorter amount of expiration dates just so you can be safe when actually eating. Before you go shopping for new items, you definitely want to actually clean out the fridge before purchasing any new grocery material so you have a clean slate to work with when placing it all into the fridge. Oh my gosh, this dessert is so good. You all have to try it. It's from Whole Food. And this was my reward for cleaning out my fridge. Definitely recommend that you have a treat that you can indulge after you've done this dreadful task, dreadful but satisfactory task of cleaning out your fridge so you have an incentive to clean out your fridge and you're rewarding yourself for positive behavior finally we are almost done cleaning out the fridge we are just clearing out the veggies and fruits the last bin this has been a very haunting task for me because I realized that there's just so much and I still haven't finished the fridge freezer area of my fridge. So that's that might have to be another video because I was so burnt out after cleaning just the top of my fridge area. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see the full view and see if I actually keep this organized, right? So clearing up your fridge is just one part of the equation, right? Now we have to actually clean the inside of the fridge, um, the surfaces, the all the containers, pretty much everything that's inside of your fridge. You want to spray down before placing everything back in and then your new items and bins as well. So definitely spray the inside of your fridge, clean it with an actual paper towel. The reason why I recommend using a paper towel versus a microfiber cloth is because a lot of what's in your fridge has been decomposed, especially if you have rotten items in your fridge. Also, it's one less task to do because if you're using a microfiber cloth, you're going to have to wash it or laundry it. And it's just another task that you'll have to complete. So hence, I know it's not as environmentally friendly, but paper towels are the way to go for the fridge cleaning portion, in my opinion. This cool item was purchased at Ross, and basically it's these ice cubes for your water bottle. Uh, with summer coming in soon, I was just like, I really want this. It's not a need, but it's more of like I want. And it was cheap, and I was like, why not, you know? Yes, we are almost done. You can see I've started placing all my storage items. This is not all of it. I ended up having to go to TJ Maxx to purchase more organizational bins because I felt that I really needed it. So don't be like me. Don't be like Carol. Do your purchases beforehand, all right? This is the fridge after my TJ Maxx purchases of all the clear bins. Recommend you get clear bins because it's easier to see. Definitely play around with the bins and where you want them. In the beginning of the video, I always mention to measure um, your fridge before purchasing it. And that's exactly what I did. So I knew what room I had to work with. I got this fun spinny corner area for sauces and things that I are low in height that I can put in there. This is something that I purchased from Amazon 
and the use of it is that it's supposed to help your veggies and fruits last longer on these linen um, mats that you use. So I've used these and I have seen a difference in terms of preservation. They tend to last longer when you take it out of your plastic bag or plastic bag that you purchased it in and just put it directly on this. So definitely recommend these cool purchases from Amazon. I will link the description down below and they come in bulk so you don't have to spend tons of money to purchase these green mats. Now the moment of fruition, the fridge has been updated to our actual pictures and cleaned and organized. So let's dive into the organized and new and improved fridge starting from the top row. We have the sauces um, on the right hand corner. Most of them have been bin. You know I'm Daisy because I love the chutney sauce and the mangoes. Um, have this container to preserve fruits longer. Just very cute and aesthetically pleasing. Clear bins, like I've mentioned, I've thrown away some of the non-clear bins and I'm very happy that I did because this is just much more easier on the eye. You can take what you need very quickly makes it efficient when you're trying to grab something on the go and I really love the fridge because it has like this little compartment area here if we need more shelving but I really don't use that as often because we have longer height items like this juice bottle you see here so that just stores it perfectly well um, the linens that I've talked about the celery I need to take out of the plastic because like I said, it's gonna last longer if I do. And I really like the fridge, how it has the humidity control because apparently the humidity for veggies are a little bit different from fruits. So you can alternate them when you need. The sides, I have the cheese, um, a few more here. I put the milk products in this area. And I know that I mentioned that this, this area is where the heat comes out most, but with my fridge, I'm not gonna have it opened that often. So I feel comfortable having my dairy products out on the go because those are my everyday things. The condiments I've placed in this row, the middle row, because the sauces and dressings ended up being so tall that I couldn't fit them on the middle row. So I had to put them in the top row and change it. And because I needed more space, I had to go further out in the actual refrigerator area versus the sides. But this is the overall look. I hope that you found this video helpful and motivating to get your fridge organized. I did end up doing the bottom drawer as well because that wasn't too much of a lift for me. Now, my friends, you have learned how to efficiently and effectively clean and organize your fridge. So now I encourage you all to get motivated and start clearing out and organizing your fridge. Don't forget to share and like this video. We all need a little motivation.